Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool. Enjoy the video. Uh, I'm almost done with this shit game. Anyway, on the subject of like, shit games and shit things and shit people, uh, not too long ago, like earlier in the week, or was it sometime last week, or whatever, uh, there was a tweet that was made, uh, by someone, and it was pretty much like, small slash new streamer advice, and it was just a whole bunch of BS that really boiled down to, this is what worked for me, so you should do it too. And, well, a lot of people, myself included, uh, had issue with that. And I'm going to preface this with saying that uh, I really think, in my heart of hearts, genuinely think that it would be in not just VTubers' best interest, but like, content creators best interest to just stop giving advice from a perspective of like career side because like a lot of people the overwhelming majority of people uh do this whole streaming and content creation thing as a hobby and there are some people that want to turn it into like a legitimate career and whatever but the number of people that are actually working towards that and the people that are just doing it as a hobby are few and far between. Because when you have the people who are just doing it for a hobby, they're like, oh, you know, I'll just stream, or I'll maybe, emphasis on the maybe, maybe make, like, one or two YouTube videos, or whatever, and then have that be that, right? From a career side, a lot of people don't understand the, like, the legitimate work that goes into that, and what have you. And, like, when they go looking for advice, they always wind up getting the advice of, like, uh, new streamer advice, small streamer advice, and blah, blah, blah. And majority of the time, it's just a bunch of dog shit. Because the shit that really matters, as far as, like, advice-wise, is that you need to, you know, have a genuine passion for what the fuck you're doing. And, like... You know, really be about your shit and whatnot. And, you know, the part of, uh, you know, it does take a lot of hard work and a lot of luck. Because you, you could be making, like, really, really stellar shit. But if you don't get, quote unquote, lucky, hence the algorithm or whatever, or someone seeing it and then you being spread around via word of mouth, uh, it's not really gonna work out for you. But getting back to why I brought this up, uh, some fucking partner streamer was like, hey, yeah, this is what works, and yada, 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 yada. And the reason that this particular person was catching a lot of flack for it is because they worded it with, you need to do these things, not this is advice, this is tips. It said, no, you need to do this, and you need to do that, which ultimately boiled down to, you need to stream uh, in oversaturated uh, categories and uh, stream oversaturated content and whatever, and then have a sec secondary thing where you stream what you want. And a lot of the replies in the quote tweets was like, yeah, this is a surefire way to burn out on streaming really fast and hate streaming really fast. Because if someone is playing I don't know, fucking, fucking Genshin, or whatever, and it's popular streamer A, right, what is streamer 9872.6 gonna bring to the table if they stream Genshin, and only Genshin, trying to cultivate a following off of that, that's not really gonna work out, in comparison to someone streaming what the hell they actually like, and um make making do from there because i believe there was something else included in the tweet of like no one's gonna 
look at a game that nobody knows or whatever, which is just blatantly untrue. Because there are plenty of people that I've, you know, found coming across my streams. It's like, oh, you like Kingdom Hearts too? Oh, you like the Trails games too? That's cool. Oh, you like the Full Metal Alchemist games too? I didn't think anybody ever played those, you know? So, like, th there is extreme intrinsic value in streaming into a niche and then making that niche work for you as compared to, oh, I'm just going to stream the ultra popular thing for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours on end in the hopes that someone like scrolls down and finds me or they wind up being recommended or whatever. No, that's not how that works. That's how you quickly grow to hate streaming, period, because then you're going to be feeling like Oh, well, no one watches me, even though I'm doing the same thing as everybody else. I'm streaming the same stuff as everybody else. And no. The game don't work like that. And nothing in content creation works like that. Like, you gotta... You gotta have some kind of way where you, like, stand out. Genuinely stand out. Instead of just copying what you see everybody else do. Hoping you can, you know, get a bag, get a following off that. Because you're just going to drive yourself insane. Like, like streaming ultra popular things. Whose categories have like, you know, I don't know, multiple tens of thousands all the time. Like League or Valorant or Apex, what have you. You know, the, the, the general, I suppose, normie popular shit and whatever. Uh, that's not really going to pay off for you because the reason that those categories is as big as they are is because there's some one or three people that have monopolized the viewership for that category and they're going to have the wide majority of it. And it's usually because that person is either extremely entertaining or they play insert game here very, very well in comparison to someone who probably plays the game well, but isn't as known for reasons that are unknown and shit, right? It's like, like, don't get me wrong, right? I play a lot of Devil May Cry. I play a lot of Kingdom Hearts. I play a lot of Sonic. I play those games very well. But what is going to be the determining factor in comparison to the top Sonic or top... Devil May Cry or top Kingdom Hearts streamer in comparison to me when the other person has likely been around uh, way longer than I have you know it, it it's a it's a really weird lopsided checks and balance system to all this but the people that are like partnered or whatever shouldn't be going around being like here's some new streamer advice that worked for me and shit, and you should do exactly what I did. Like, nah, dog, that's not gonna work for everybody. Because, yeah, sure, some people may have that one game that they enjoy streaming, that, that, that one game that they only want to stream, and they may get a following off that. That's cool. However, the chances of that being, like, again, an oversaturated content or oversaturated a uh, category or something that everybody streams the the chances of you being found hey it's uh it's editor for child here i don't know why the audio just died but basically what i was saying that the chance of you being found in a category like this and only streaming super saturated stuff is next to absolutely nothing popular person the highest concurrent viewer count uh streaming whatever fucking game is in the conversation right now. Whereas, you know, streaming in a niche of something that you actually fucking like, that has a higher chance of you getting some viewership and getting something off that because someone somewhere is going to be looking for someone streaming insert game here, right? Some game in some niche ass category or whatever. Somebody's gonna be looking for that. And then when they find it, they'll be like, oh, hey, you know this thing too? That's awesome. And then, you know, from there, they might just be a 
confirmed permanent follower or per permanent watcher or whatever. You know, that that's how you build community and whatever. Streaming constant oversaturated games and whatever. That's like anti-community in my genuine opinion. Because like, again, they have no reason. They have less than zero reason to watch you. So why would they do that? Why would they join your budding or lack thereof budding community and watch you in comparison to someone who's like way more popular and way better than you are? Because the other thing that people would never ever mention in their stupid fucking um, uh, new streamer advice things is that people when it comes to watching content are very very short-sighted they only look at numbers right so if someone is streaming final fantasy 16 when that game comes out right and they're looking for someone streaming final fantasy 16 if there is one person streaming with 10,000 people and another person streaming with two um it's pretty obvious that the 10,000 viewer person is going to be picked as compared to the two viewer person going to be picked. Now, you know, there could be like a staggering level of quality difference between the two. Like the 10,000 person could be some generic, I don't know, hype beast not really paying attention to the game or, I don't know, being trash at the game or whatever. In comparison to like the two viewer person actually like engaging with the game and commentating over it and paying attention and whatever that could be a thing and that does happen a lot of the time but again the number difference is what matters to a lot of people and unfortunately that is true for like a lot of people that casually view twitch they, they, they don't view Twitch or watch people on Twitch to, you know, go looking for smaller content creators or smaller streamers or whatever. They want to watch the popular people. When, when, and, and that isn't to say that, like, oh, well, that doesn't mean people go looking for smaller people at all. Because sometimes people want to, you know, switch it up a little bit. Maybe go find someone else streaming the same thing but from a different perspective. You never know. Right? This shit happens a lot. But... I, I really think that people should stop giving streaming advice from a, oh, I made it perspective, and this is what I did to make it, to people that mostly do this as a hobby. Because, because there's not a lot of hobbyist streaming advice out there. At least on fucking Twitter, because whenever you go looking for streaming advice on Twitter, it's always, this is what you need to do, this is what I did, and this is how I made it work, and whatever, and shit. As compared to, hey, you know, do what you want, you're not trying to make this a career or anything, do what you want, have fun, don't be a bastard, and uh, enjoy yourself, right? Now, of course, you know, there's more to the hobby version of streaming advice, but... That should be, like, the baseline when it comes to giving streaming advice to people. As compared to just, like, if you don't do what I did, you're not going to make it. 